Welcome to your step-by-step -step vacation guide for Mexico. And now I want to talk to you about currency. Y'all, they be scamming us. There's so many tourists going there. They don't bother to learn any kind of Spanish and any of the customs. They're ready to get y'all. A lot of stuff in Mexico should not be that expensive. It should not feel like a mini LA. The mistake, people, the mistake. Please stop doing this. Don't ask for the English menu first. Get the menu in Spanish first. Look at the prices and then say, mm, can I have an English menu? Sometimes it'll be different prices on the English menu, different gratuities and different service fees. No lie, it happened to us just recently. Just be on the lookout for that. Get you a credit card that has zero international fees. Yes, you can use pesos when you're in Mexico and don't have to worry about the conversion rate and what they said it is. We went to this restaurant and at the bottom, it had the currency exchange already for USDs for pesos. Let you know, hey, if you don't have pesos, you can pay in your USD. It's okay. No, it's not because when I use the currency app, because they're counting on you not to check. So we decided to pay in my credit card. When I looked on my credit card, it was the exact amount of pesos equivalent to the currency rate was what I said and what currency app said. It was not what they said on the receipt. Make sure you have downloaded the currency app. I've told y'all about this several times. If you have money left over at the end of your trip and you're like, what am I gonna do with this? When's the next time I'm gonna go to this place? You can always exchange your money back for your home currency. The thing is they don't take coins. If you got your coins, spend them before you go. Learn guys, get these tips that I'm telling you. Stay tuned for other step-by-step vacation guys for different countries and cities that I go to and bye.